Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Smart Mouth Brewing Company's Saturday Morning. Saturday morning is made for cartoons and marshmallows. Lucky so, charms. Yeah. So this beer is an IPA with marshmallows. Supposedly they use the uh, the marshmallows that you see here and the kinds you get in cereals to, to brew this beer. Give it some flavor. Saturday morning, limited release. Uh, water, two row, white wheat, carapils, dextrose, lemon drops, samba, hollertau blanc, marshmallows, sunshine, happiness, and rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what their favorite marshmallow is. What shape? Mine's the moons. Mm. The moons feel like they're they're fatter, like they're puffier. <laughs> so when you bite into them, it's just like. Poosh. I like the rainbows. Yeah, they're good. If you guys watch this, let us know what your favorite marshmallow is. But anyway, yeah, IBU 10, ABV 6.6%. Um, that's kind of really all we got, except for this nostalgically ridiculous can art here. Very cool idea for a beer. This is a highly sought after one too, is it not? Every time it, it like pops up, people are like, in search of, need to get this, yeah, send it they, to me. Yeah, I think they released this last year and it sold out within hours. And the lines were like, hour long, like more than an hour, like three hour, four hour long lines. And then when they sold out, people were reselling this online for hundreds of dollars. Hundreds? Yeah. You, you're you kidding. No. <laughs> oh my God, for a four pack, like a hundred bucks? I, I don't know, but Wow, yeah. dude, that's crazy. It so. looks like an IPA. It just looks like a typically standard IPA. It's got this nice lacing happening. Definitely, uh, you know, looks like any other IPA in existence pretty much. Uh, it's got a little slight haze to it, but other than that... I'm skeptical because an IPA, there's there's a lot of hops going on in an IPA and it's it's a bitter beer. Yeah. So when you add an adjunct like marshmallows, are you really going to taste it? I don't know. I feel like you may not. Well, I guess we'll have to just taste and find out. What's it smell like? Does it smell like marshmallows? It smells more of an IPA to me. There's definitely the kind of IPA characteristics of it, but but it, there's something else happening in there. I can't pinpoint, I can't say for sure that it's like, oh, that's marshmallows, or oh, that's like, you know, sugar or whatever, but it, there's something else happening in there. I do, I do get that sugary note at the very end. But it's not enough to like knock out the other right. hop aromas in the, in the IPA itself. Okay, well, let's dive in and see where this takes us. Cheers. Cheers. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely got like this sweet kind of character to it. You get all those typical hop flavors that you expect out of, you know, an IPA. Um, but there's this like little twinge of sweetness at the very end. Mm -hmm. Like it actually does taste like you just put a ton of these marshmallows in your mouth all at once. And that really kind of like cloyingly sweetness and like creaminess is in the very back end. Yeah. I don't even think they use lactose in it. No, I don't think there's lactose in this. I mean, it says dextrose, which is sugar. But I mean, other than that, yeah. But sunshine and rainbows are definitely inside. I feel like this would have been, if they used lactose, it would have made more sense. Yeah, no, I mean, I agree. Like, I think, you know, in, in future renditions, if they use lactose, that would make it so much better. But as it stands, I mean, it's okay. But like, you know, I, I'm not sure why people were selling this for hundreds of dollars if it doesn't really taste yeah. like marshmallows in your face, you know what I mean? Like to me, this isn't indicative of like the cereal. I think it's just a big marketing ploy or hype, you know, and when you see a, a beer that tastes like your Saturday mornings as a kid, it's enticing, I guess. Yeah. And it looks cool and everybody loves Lucky Charm, so. Would this be even better as a stout, you think? Like they could, cause then they could add lactose, then they could add like real marshmallow flavor to it. Then they could add that creaminess and like yeah. really bring out those flavors, you know? As an IPA, the hops definitely take over this beer. I mean, it tastes like, to me, it just tastes like, like kind of a West Coast style IPA with, uh, you know, with, with 
West Coast hops, but I'm not getting that much marshmallow punch to it. Right. Like you'd expect the can, you know, like you'd expect it to. I think this would be a good, this would be good if it were a stout, but then I think it would no longer fit the theme of the Saturday morning. Why does, do IPAs have something to do with Saturday? Do you guys drink IPAs on Saturday mornings? <laughs> Like, IPAs are not in the food pyramid of your morning intake of vitamins. They can be. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, yeah, that's what I got. I mean, it's an IPA. Um, if you're expecting, like, you know, a blast of marshmallows, probably going to be disappointed. It's a kitschy, like, marketing thing for sure. Um, but, you know, I, I, I'd almost, you know, I wouldn't go seek it out expecting, like, a marshmallow blast or anything like that. I would just pick up, like, an IPA offering that they also have. Um, and, and skip the crazy lines and the high price tags. But overall, I mean, would I drink this again? Yeah. Sure. It's well brewed. I mean, the, the hops are tasty. And it's unlike any any other IPA that I've ever had. Like, it definitely has, like, some cool characteristics going on. There's, like, a little bit of lemony notes to it. It's got, like, this sort of, like, grassy character going on. Um, but, yeah, when you, when you see this can art, once again, it's just, like, you expect that marshmallow flavor and I'm just I'm just not getting it. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right guys, well if you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and check out our Facebook, Instagram and Patreon accounts linked in the description below. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.